What's good, everybody? Welcome to the show. I'm here with my man, Atia, one of the comics here in Indy that uh, I've been, uh, you know, rocking with. And so, uh, what's up, my man, Atia Radford? Uh, welcome to the show. And I'll let you introduce yourself uh, to everybody. How y'all doing? Like you said, I'm Atia Radford. I'm out here in Naptown, Indianapolis. I was born on the east side. Story, I've, I've had a very long story. Father died early in my life. Um, left with a um, single mother for majority, and then um, we have a big family. So I have about five brothers and one sister. So, you know, not too good of an upbringing, but going through everything taught me a lot. And now it's really just made me focus all my passions into what I'm really trying to develop. And that's actually to have more people being united and really pushing to show what all the good stuff that we actually do got going on around here. So, now, <clears throat> what uh, I do, like you said, I'm, I'm a comedian, and I host a, um open mic as well at 3554 Oliver Avenue, where we allow comedians, rappers, models, spoken words, musicians, anybody just come out and have a good time, um, network, because there'll be a lot of people there that's worth networking with, come network, and my main priority there is um, video creation. So I'll record everybody's set and I'll release it for free. So you can use that to critique yourself or use it to get future paid gigs while I'm scouting out for paid gigs as well. So that's like one of the avenues. Um, you want to know all everything? I mean, no, we wasn't trying to get your life story just yet. You know, it wasn't the, <laughs> I'll just say an intro. That was a good intro though. You know, <clears throat> appreciate it. Appreciate it. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about a few of the, you know, things that's happened this week that was on Instagram, a couple of little news stories and clips, and, uh, you know, just have a little fun with some of the takes and, you know, see, you know, what's up. And then as more people pile in and come in and watch live, we'll see what's up with some of the comments and, you know, what people think. So let's get into it. Normally I started start a little early but i'm a little late so you know we gonna get into it though so first thing is i got this clip of this woman who was saying some kind of wow on instagram and i'm gonna play it you tell me what you think about this clip and uh then i'll tell you what i think about the clip we're gonna go back and forth on that one so you go first on this one i'm gonna go first on the next one all right, so here is the clip. Let's see, what is this woman talking about on Instagram? You able to see the clip? Yeah, yeah. All right, let's let's play. Attracted to masculine energy. They're attracted to feminine energy, okay? So your necklace, that's feminine. Jewelry is feminine, right? Okay. Money is feminine. Cars hold on, wait, feminine. wait, wait, hold on. Wait, money is feminine? Yes, money is feminine. Break that down. Okay. You got to break me down. Now. Okay, so... Anything, attractive energy is feminine. Attraction is about femininity, right? Attraction pulls attention towards it. Anything that's operating in feminine energy is pulling attention towards it. So women are feminine. They're in the feminine vessel, and just them existing pulls attention towards them, okay? Jewelry. It pulls attention towards it. It's feminine. Money, it pulls attention towards it. Now, you could put money in a masculine position and make it move, right? But money in itself, sitting still, will draw attention towards it. So, the only way that you know that a man has masculine energy is based on how much feminine energy he acquires. What about a right? gun? Hmm? What about a gun? It's all feminine. Everything. A gun is feminine? Yes. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pause it for a second because she keep rambling for a little bit. What do you think about what she talking about so far? She said, <clears throat> a gun is feminine energy. Having money in your hand is feminine energy because it is attractive. Having jewelry is feminine energy because it's attractive. Because women are attractive. So anything that's Attractive must be you must be feminine. What's your thoughts on that? <laughs> if you're wearing jewelry, 
And uh, if you you got money and you got a gun, you 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 basically acting like a woman. Well, I, I don't I don't agree with her. I see how she try to make sense of it, but it does, I don't I, I don't man I don't, I don't agree with it. I feel like everybody's different. You know nothing. Uh, I don't I don't feel like everybody's different. She's uh, looking too much into. I don't believe that at all. And I, then she got the gun. That's what she completely lost me. But uh, I, I guess I can see it kind of. Maybe that's why I accept it a bit. I'm looking on this thing. I don't think it sent out the notifications on here. On this, uh, all right, but but uh, yeah, I definitely agree that uh, with what you saying in the sense that I don't that what she's saying is crazy. Look, so she's saying. That's the problem with some people out here on Instagram, YouTube, and all this stuff is that a lot of people may be having one thing right, which is, yeah, a lady is attractive, and attractive women do get a lot of attention. Yeah, that's true. And maybe if you had piles of money, yeah, that would get a lot of attention, but that don't mean that that's a feminine energy. It's it's just... It just is a, brings attraction. If people have guns pointed and stuff, yeah, it's going to get somebody's attention. But that doesn't mean that it's a female energy, you know. Now, jewelry is, it depends. So, you know, men can wear jewelry and it's still masculine. But then you could put go overboard, I guess, if you had like your whole ear pierced or something and this and that uh, but there's people out there with all kind of stuff and still can be masculine with that so hey I don't know um so yeah definitely so I don't understand what she uh came with with that but definitely she was off on that because just cause something is attractive or bring energy does not mean it is, you know what I'm saying, got anything to do with feminine energy. But Did that get a lot of views? Huh? Did it get a lot of views? It seemed that it's circulating. Uh Willie D was uh talking about it and uh even he realized that, that you know that was some nonsense, which of course it is because you know some people just because they have the ability to speak don't mean that they should be able to speak. Um, or rather people give them credit and be listening to it because <laughs> the wrong people can be misled and you'd be surprised how many more people can be misled out here these days. So, you know, I hope ain't nobody watch that or no women out there watch that and then think, uh, oh, yeah, that's what's up. These dudes or whatever is, is doing that. Uh, uh, no, uh. Hold on one second. What is this? Hold on, man. I'm having a little technical difficulty over here. Let me see. What in the hell? How is this not showing up on here? For some reason, it's not putting the video out. This ain't never happened before. YouTube. This would happen with live videos, I guess, sometimes. But, uh, let me see. Why is it not showing on? Yeah, it's not even... End up losing my whole clip because I ain't making any of this stuff. Edit, so I'm not gonna do it. This is crazy. Oh, you know what? Isn't it still recording? Yeah, but I know why it's not live with everybody. <laughs> For some reason, I didn't have it sent to YouTube and everybody else. It was only live on Facebook. Uh, That's all right. 
this will be recorded. It's been recorded, so I just had to put it up there for everybody else. That was, I had some little technical difficulties before I got on, man. Stressful situation it made me mess up what I was trying to do. Oh, my goodness. Good thing we ain't been but just 10 minutes. Yeah, I was like, I was too. I was just going to wait around. I'm like, wait a minute. Something ain't right. Now I see it. So, you know, everybody that's coming now, (laughs) the first 10 minutes, I'm going to have to re-put out there for everybody on YouTube if they didn't get it. I don't know how this is going to work, if it may put it on there still or not. But it is double recorded. So, anyway, you got the first part on there. You ain't got to redo your your part about your intro too much but yeah so everybody that's coming in i had some technical difficulties and it was only streaming for the first 10 minutes on facebook so you know what i'm saying y'all might have missed out on the first take that we had um which was about this little lady i mean hey we could do it again real quick it ain't that bad uh i, I wasn't finished playing it anyway but uh let me start it. Uh, this woman on Instagram has been saying some wild stuff, talking about men that wear jewelry or men that have money that they hold in or, you know, men that uh, have a gun because all of these things uh, 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 grab attention. It's feminine energy because women, feminine women you know grab attention so anything grab attention is feminine energy basically these dudes that think they tough with money or guns and this and that are really acting like women is what she's trying to say I guess anything that pulls attention is anything because listen listen planet earth mother earth is feminine and everything that exists in mother earth is feminine so All that don't already make earth. sense. You can't build a gun with it's a masculine energy. You can't build a gun it's without the earth. Okay. So, <laughs> so a gun is a woman is feminine. Jewelry is feminine, right? Money is feminine. Car. Wait, 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 wait. Money is feminine? Yes, money is feminine. Break that down. Okay. You gotta, you gotta break me down. Now. Okay. So Nuts. Anything attractive <clears throat> energy is feminine. Attraction is about femininity, right? Attraction. All right, so this push. woman is actually, you know, on something. <laughs> and for everybody that missed it earlier, this is my man, Atia Rafford. He's a comic here in Indy um, that, you know, I didn't linked up with. So, you know, I got him here on the show. Give his takes on a couple of these things. So what's your thoughts on having money? Is that uh, ladylike to be having money? <laughs> That's a funny word too, because every lady wants me to have money, and then uh, like apparently it's feminine it now, and uh, we can't, can't even look nice. But, like you said, she just has a lot of baloney. Like it doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Any kind of attraction is feminine, right? Guys, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. She's just talking. I think she just put it out there to try to, you know, go viral like she did, get a view, and man, uh, just rambling on. Yeah, because people will go viral for the wrong thing, saying dumb stuff. You know what I'm saying? If anything, I would say money would be neutral. Uh, yeah, because everybody want money, and money don't care what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What up, Shyrod King? What's good with you? What's up, Rashonda? How you doing, sis? B. Halette, happy Sunday to you. How you feeling? Damian Kenny, what's good with you, man? How you feeling, man? So Damien Kenny says, so women are attracted to quiet men. What do you think, man? You, since I don't know you too well, but you seem like a quiet guy, soft-spoken. What do you think about that? Do you think women like the quiet guys or or, or what? What's your thoughts on that? Uh, look like we got some technical difficulty. There I we go. That, uh, I had a long going off of, I, I do believe in that to some extent because I feel like I hit it off better in show ladies when you just sit there and, you know, enjoy the moment, you know, relax. And I don't know. Don't say much because, you know, go against anything they say. 
the whole uh, until the kids they always say they want a man who's got conversation who can keep the flow going with, you know without ease. Right. So I think some does some don't. I think they're confused on how much how much how often they want a man. You got to. You got to be able to conversate like the quiet type maybe is in you ain't trying to be the loudest voice in the room or the or the star of the party as to say, ah, oh, 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 look at me type stuff. But you still can have a presence, still can conversate this and that. You know what I mean? It's like Denzel. <laughs> okay. okay. My ninja. <laughs> My ninja. I need to work on my Denzel. (laughs) (laughs) I'm working on it. What's up, Savannah? Rivers, Rose, and Moray. Good to see you. B said, welcome, Atiyah. Welcome. Thank you for having me. I appreciate all y'all for tuning in. I appreciate y'all for putting me on. No problem, my friend. I got some gin right here. I might have to take a couple sips after the technical difficulties earlier today. <laughs> What's up? Hope is lovely. How you feeling? All right, let's go to the next little clip that I had that was kind of interesting. Uh, which one? Uh, is it uh, Is it this? Uh, okay, yeah. This right here. This made me... Ooh. I'm going to go first. Since I'm going first, I'm already going to let it be known. This made me mad. But I'm going to play the clip. Let's get into it. Oops, I done messed the thing up. Here we go. <laughs> this person is tripping, man. Straight tripping. And I'm going to say this person. This the manager at Dollar General talking to a cashier. <laughs> I didn't threaten nothing. Talk too much. And the company is Tadika Ninja told me about you. You can't fund this company. Do what he said. <laughs> nothing. You want me to tell you the fuck I'm wrong? I'll tell him. And I text my future manager now. You don't run nothing. You're an associate. Go home. Now. <laughs> nothing. Go home now. 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 Get out of this store. Get out. He talking to a grown person. He lucky he don't get bust upside the head. The corporate. Get out. Get out. Like it's his house. Look how he talking to my corporate employee about her. My corporate. Sir, I'm the manager. Delicious. Delicious, okay? I'm the manager, okay? The corporate has warned me, okay? The corporate. The corporate. First of all, that's proved some people do not deserve management positions. They can't handle power at the funky-ass Dollar General Get out. Say another thing. Say another thing. I'll make it clock out. Man, I'll bust your head to the white me. Who you talking to, man? I'll be, I'll have somebody waiting for you when you get off work, man. I don't know. Some people are just so rude and disrespectful. And customers was trying to talk to them saying, sir, no, sir, m- my corporate has warned me. Delicious nose. <laughs> Wait. What what you think about uh delicious as your uh, supervisor, man? Delicious, man. Delicious. <laughs> he can't have that guy. He, uh, she, she should sue them. Oh, oh my God! He's just full of that stuff. There's one of those people that, like you said, wait. Maybe wait for a long time to get there because they get moderate work because they suck. Wait ten years to get there, and now they think they're better than everybody else. Everybody can say it, and nobody, you know that. Man, that damn Dollar General supervisor, delicious, getting nine fifty an hour for that. 
the listeners ain't getting it. He was there six months. My corporate has warned me. I talk to corporate. I'm better than you, okay? You're an associate. I talk to corporate, okay? You cannot run the store. You can't run your mouth. I mean... <laughs> Ooh, we do not talk back to me. <laughs> like the man. Ooh, come on. That's oh, he was so disrespectful. She did. She can sue and say that the reason she been having the problems and put in her two week notice is because of harassment from Delicious. Well, I don't know the name. It sounds just like a 50 cent. Delicious. Delicious. This is Jaru. Delicious. And I will gently his ass. What the hell? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> Straight up, she need to sue, get the money, buy that store, and then make delicious be back on the register. Uh, what you say, delicious? Huh? Uh, uh, you are an associate. For real. Hey man! Out, out, out now, now! Oh my God! For real? Yeah, that was way too far, right there, man. Way too far, and I think that she got lucky by by not going for it. You know what I'm saying? I I got the Columbus short came out, and I got a good point with this: is that like, why does everybody like to pile on when somebody come out? and say, you know, sue or say somebody me too, then everybody else pile on and they say, I've been having stories for 10 years, 20 years. Why you ain't said nothing? <laughs> Why you wait till now? Anyway. <laughs> he grabbed mine too. <laughs> Here's the video of Columbus Short and he gonna talk about incident with with Diddy and you tell me your take on this let's see he, he said he's snitching in the kitchen Diddy. gotta tell on him he he tried it on me so I know it's true I was married my ex-wife ex-wife uh, uh, I got a phone call in the middle of the night about 2 30 in the morning there. It was my wife says, pick up the phone. It was an unknown number. Unknown number. Pick up the phone. What bitch is calling me? Who's calling you? Picked up the phone. I'm a dick. But let me say, I ain't never even seen a BT world. I didn't even see a BT world. Uh, you know, what you doing? I'm, I'm in bed with my wife. He said, I, uh, I'm at the Beverly Hills Hilton. Uh, the Beverly Hills Hotel. I said, oh, I said, what's up? I said, who over there? He said, just me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. Oh, and that's oh. it. <laughs> he probably, the rest of it was, so then I was over there. I went, yeah. <laughs> and that's why me and my wife is ex. Ah, <laughs> uh, man, hey, that was... That was good, uh, Harvey. That was a nice on it. I, I just, uh, they, we, I kind of believe in all that stuff with Diddy, so I, I can see it. I just picture that. Just me. Just me. Just. So, I don't know, man. My th my take on that is, what's that mean? Like, okay, he there, it was him. What was he saying? And he called you. So what made him call you? What made him think to call you? Have y'all been there before? And then not only that, maybe he was saying, maybe y'all be getting high or something together. You know, some people be calling in the middle of the night like, hey, I bet the hotel come through because y'all going to be high all night. Hey, 
place if you don't know what it's a lot of weed. That's why I say hi. I didn't say weed. I just said they get now. Nah, I don't know what they could be doing. You don't get no weed calls at four in the morning. <laughs> you nah, yeah, you don't call to get and smoke weed at three in the morning. Come smoke some weed with me. Man, shut up. <laughs> Still, he know him. He got his number, so it ain't the first time. If it's the first time, then you would go at three in the morning to go smoke probably with Diddy. But he know him. Right. Right, right. <laughs> right, right. So, you know, I don't know about that one, man. Uh, Diddy, he getting piled on a lot. Pun intended. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Damien kids safety in numbers if one person come forward, other feels they have support to come forward. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. B, a lad said Columbus Short been talking. He wrote a book a few few back. He got blackballed and labeled crazy. I remember he got he was going through a lot and he was in the news a lot for like tweaking out or something on set, being a problem, labeled as a problem. I didn't look deep into it. But I remember hearing Columbus Short this and that and had a gun or this or that and all kind of stuff. So I don't know. I mean, I ain't heard his name in a minute until now. So, you know, Hope is Lovely said, that's a booty call. <laughs> True. Right. You getting your voice is getting lower, harder to hear now. Well, you was you ain't got to move. I don't know. Maybe you just got far away. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. All right, but yeah, they say eight three in the morning ain't nothing open but legs. <laughs> the booty call. I don't know, man. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, we all love these ladies out here, at least most men, and some men that don't like ladies maybe still like a lot of these lady rappers out here and things. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> It's starting to seem that it's a double standard even with these freaky women entertainers like Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B, all of them. I mean, they sing about a WAP, a wet-ass booty cat. <laughs> so now people are jumping down on Shannon Sharp because of some comments he made about Megan Thee Stallion. So... Shannon Sharp on his show was talking about Megan Thee Stallion and he was talking about how he'd have her legs open like saloon doors. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that he, uh, you know what I'm saying, have her legs looking like a what? A 3 and 11 on the clock? Three. <laughs> hey, he had some country slang on that ad, didn't he? Hey, he said 3 and 11 on the clock. All right, so people started to say he's wrong for talking about what he would do to her and all the sexual comments, and that was inappropriate about a woman that her whole brand is about sex and selling sex. So do you think that's fair or inappropriate that he was making them comments? Do you think that's right? Some people saying he worked for ESPN and such and such. He shouldn't do that. I feel like, well, because this is, this is a hard one for me because I don't like Megan. And the reason I don't is because of that guy. Like, I don't like all that talk about WAP and all that, the whole shit. I don't like all that stuff. So, um, You're I'm a gentleman. Huh? You're a gentleman. Yeah, I like you not. 
guys aren't like a lot of the newer generation stuff for my, my generation. So, uh, but I'm a big fan of, but I know how older people are too. Uh, I don't, he's big, you know, that got a lot of views too. I don't think, you know, I feel like if it was a, if it was somebody that looked better or something, that she would have kind of fell asleep. She sleeps with a lot of rappers. She slept with some other rapper that's starting to talk about her now. She sleeps with a lot of these rappers like she's a fan or something. I never heard of Tory Lanez till she was sleeping with him. This other dude, the same thing. And then she even said something like, y'all wasn't nothing till I slept with you. Why you keep sleeping with rappers? Whack rappers. <laughs> that's wacker than you. That's why I look at it like we in America and everybody got the option to watch or not watch or support or not support what they want. And so her brand is doing that. She can't say now when men have a reaction, don't have that type of reaction. That's what you're doing. That's like people that have porn or OnlyFans. And then when they fans be like, ooh, you got a fat this, or let me see that. How could you say that? That's what you, that's what you, right. It ain't like you, Michelle Obama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now, Damien Kenny, my man said that Shannon need to be careful because that's S.A. speech what sexual and then okay the a word try not to have the algorithm i don't know if it is i thought it was jokes i thought it was jokes i thought so too that's why i was like oh that's funny yeah I thought you yeah like they're attacking comedy i love comedy and i think as long as it's in the comic form almost and i mean almost like 99.7 percent is good it's even i've heard some borderline pedo stuff but it was done so creative i was like god damn that's funny man damn that is funny man why did you make me laugh at that <laughs> i hope it's not true because you know as comics everything ain't true that you say you know what i'm saying so because it's like a show it's entertainment you twist and edit and Maybe this did happen a little. Maybe it didn't. Some of it. But it's not like you saying verbatim every single thing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping, you know, they didn't say nothing like I did it. That They didn't go that funny. I don't know how you can make that funny. Yeah. But uh, it's Tom Segura that, that had the joke or whatever when he was talking about using the bathroom and his son saw him and stuff. And I'm like, man, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Tom Segura's uh, Netflix comedy special, and I gotta say, he's funny, man. He that's why I said I don't know how he made me laugh at that. I wasn't like ah, <laughs> I wasn't laughing like the last, best laugh of my life, but you know, he pulled it off. It was creative. Yeah. yeah. You got to make people laugh at something uncomfortable. And then, you know, you got them. You yeah, know. That's, that's good to have a too, because that's, like, look at it. Now you get so much backlash for it. That's just like comedy. You can't joke about a lot of things no more. Even if you do it in a nice way, if it's just one guy in the crowd, hey, mm -hmm. that's good. That's, you know? Right, right. Tanya T's. Tanya T said it was jokes. He felt like it would never happen. And I think so, too. It was jokes. He felt like what well, people used to say, if I had Jenna Jackson, if I had Beyonce or whatever, you know, I'd do this. I'd do that. That's all. He was just... Right. It was some locker room talk. And, uh, you know, that's all it was. Got, got out of hand as far as people that watched... As far as people that watched it. 
because they wanted to make it seem like it was something more than it was. Like All right, you talking about people like drama. That's a perfect segue. Here goes some drama for your ass. And the problem is, it ain't enough drama for the world. So what do you think about this story here? It says that the CIA has retrieved at least nine UFOs from crash sites worldwide. This is according to the Irish Star. This is not some, uh, you know, conspiracy theory newspaper or something. This was released in a national paper. It says that whistleblowers say a discreet unit of CIA, of the CIA helping collect UFOs from crash sites around the world since 2003. And it says after they crash on Earth, um, it says that they got not, this comes not long after a UFO expert said 10 aliens have been captured by humans. I don't still know if this is true or not, but they're starting to put more and more of this information out there in public sources. They have that guy, David Grush, that's been uh, on Congress uh, testifying. I don't know if you're familiar with that. What do you think about this UFO stuff? Is it a psyop meaning? Are they trying to pull some type of psychological operation on everybody and make them believe in UFOs so that they don't believe in maybe God or something? Or is it is it real? Is it is it fake? Is what what is it? Is it military stuff? You don't care. What is it? Well, then I'm asking the right person then. Tell me why you believe in it then. Because I don't know. I don't say, I know something's happening. That's all I know is that something is happening. And that's all I know. So you say you believe, I'm not going to say I believe, but I, it seems I may have looked into this a lot more than you. I have looked into it a lot for a long time. I still not going to say I believe. I'm not going to say I disbelieve. I'm going to say I know for a fact something is happening though. Now, I don't know if it's humans, aliens, space, whatever. But from what I've looked into this for the many years and hour, whatever, it's been reports, quote unquote, that they got multiple different kinds from the grays. You ever heard of the grays with the big head and thing? Ah, that they're then it's uh the Nordic whites that look similar to us, and then it's all so they've said it's like three or four different types according to the UFOlogy stuff. I don't know. Like I say, some of the stuff could be stuff they put out there. So when you say it, you sound like a weirdo. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I don't necessarily believe in this stuff. Then some of these things have been in the Bible where they say, I see chariots in the sky. Chariots was a vehicle. They wouldn't have said a, a ship or a, a, a plane because the, the word didn't exist. Yeah. So they see a vehicle in the sky glowing with fire. They wouldn't have said headlights or lights. <laughs> so it's been stuff flying around all the time. It does say Christ will return with chariots in the sky. So I don't know. Maybe it's all kind of pictures and things been drawn and written of stuff people have seen and things that's happened in the sky throughout mankind. Um, so... I think whatever's happening, and they all have been described similar. 
and the UFO saucer shape or cigar shape or yeah. the or the pit. So through it hasn't changed. So whatever it is, is it can't be here because it's been described looking the same before people had the technology today. So I don't know what's going on. I just know something happening. You all right? You need some water? <laughs> Go ahead. Take a break. Get some water, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, you know, I don't know. Damien Kenny say, I call BS if all the crash sites are real. Why haven't the info been leaked before? Well, here's the thing. It's a lot of reasons why you wouldn't leak that info, because if you get it, then if you the info comes out, if you are the Americans, for example, and you have UFO technology, would you want to share that technology with the Russians or the, the Chinese? What if they learn how to make the technology better than you or faster than you? Then they could become the superpower. So it's a lot of fear involved in if they learn, they could use it on us. If they have it before us, we would be under them. So people get it. Then you get the information that in the military, you compartmentalize. That way, the people that's working on propulsion have no idea about, you know, the structures and things of that nature. And people don't have any way to know what the hell they actually are working on, which is something that they did with the atomic bomb. The only difference is with the atomic bomb, it's easier to compartmentalize because you could say, I want these people to be working on this part, that part, this part, that part. And at the end, you just put all the parts together, boom. And with this, if you're working on one part and you don't know what you're working on and the other person working on another part and you're working on something that ain't never been seen before, you don't have any way to talk to each other to say, hey, when I did this, did that happen? Oh, no. But when this happened, this happened. Well, maybe we should try this together and do that. Oh, wow. Boom. But they don't allow that. So that's why it's been a lot of lack of progress, maybe, in knowing what's going on, if it is something coming from somewhere else. I don't know. Yeah. COVID-19. Lord Dragon. I'll read it for you, man. You ain't got to get that close. You got your eyes all over the back. He <laughs> say COVID-19 didn't work. So they are trying to get you to use the idea of aliens. So when the next pandemic happens, it will be about that. I wouldn't put that past it. I'm not. Yeah, I wouldn't rule that out. What you think about that? I just see them doing something like that. They always try to mess with us in some way. Uh, I, I can see that. And I, can, I can see them trying to plot something to make. You know how the, um, they did a Travis Scott thing. It was like a, it was like a, some kind of ritual. So I feel like oh, like, where the people died at this concert? Yeah, so I just always see something like that happening. Like, what if you don't know how to manipulate us more? Maybe something is happening. Maybe we don't know how to do it. Oh, no, yeah. I wouldn't put it past it, man. It's a lot of stuff going on, man. And people, people really are walking around with the wool over their eyes. I'm not going to say I got the knowledge and I know everything and I'm Indiana Jones or nothing like that. <laughs> but some people are just oblivious to, to what is going on and 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 it's really it's really bad for those people because they don't even have a clue to even start to look for an exit. You know, I may not have all the answers, but I'm looking for the exit. I'm looking for it. They just take it because they're going to see it on the news and whatever the news tells them, they'll believe, you know, not realizing that's a television show, it's propaganda as well. And, you know, they, they've they been sued for lying and they do all kind of stuff and tell stuff, don't tell stuff. So, yep. yeah. Yeah. And they try to diminish social media as being dumb. That way you stay listening to me. No, no, no. Don't listen to them. Listen to me. They stupid. I'm the one on the TV. Trust me. I got a degree. Who are they? They just happen to be there with a phone in their hand with a camera like everybody else 
filming stuff and putting it up there so you can see exactly what's happening in real time. How could you not believe that versus people with producers and, and revenue and profit sharing and corporate, you know what I'm saying? Uh, shareholders to report to and stuff, you know, making money, you yeah, know. The money is, um, uh, Luke Dweedy. Yeah, that's why you have to be able to differentiate between when you say don't listen to social media. So that's when it comes to like the woman on there talking about money is feminine. Yeah, that's where you have to use your brain and realize that's stupid versus the person that's filming George Floyd getting choked out is real. And that's the beauty of social media. You know what I mean? You re- you you look and you realize the person standing there with that phone that saw and filmed him getting choked out ch- made a big change. And that's what social media is about. And if you waited for the damn news to get there, they would have had the narrative that he died of a heart attack and whatever the police told them, that's what the hell they would have said. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference. So you watching the damn news you just going to hear the same shit that the police tells them that they're going to report because they want to be able to keep getting interviews from the police chief and stuff so they don't want to get on their bad side and start saying this and that. And da, 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 da. So then they all have these little relationships so they can all stay in yeah. their jobs. Oh, my See, goodness. That's why I stopped watching the news. I, I really did. Because there's always the biased stuff and they leave the happy stuff out. They always... Most of the time, it's all negative stuff. Mm-hmm. So I, I, just, uh, I just you ever seen know. shows like you ever seen shows like uh, last week tonight with John Oliver, and it's clips. You probably ain't seen it, but it's clips where he'll show because a lot of local news, especially, is owned by the same companies, and they make them read the same stuff. So it'll be all across the nation, and they'll be like, "This just it." How about that one? Oh, my favorite thing is such and such. My favorite thing is such and such. My favorite thing. You think you're looking at the local news. No, you're not. It's owned by a national company that has them saying the same shit across all of the local news all around. So you think you're looking at WTH. No, you're not. They're saying the same talking points pretty much everywhere, except for they'll have a couple local stories mixed in, but then they'll say it verbatim. And he'll play it on there. And uh, matter of fact, I'm going to show a clip. I know they ain't going to be able to let me show too much. I'll show it on YouTube where you can find it, but I won't play it because they're going to block it for copyright. But, okay. yeah, but uh, you'll see uh, that it's, it's just crazy. And he put it on there because he on HBO. So that's something that's paid for. So therefore, he can put that out there because he's not looking for ad revenue. Let's see. Last week. So no HBO and them pay you to be on there though. Yeah, but no, people pay to have an HBO subscription. It doesn't have commercials like another show. Let's see. Is this it? Here we go. Wait. Mm. But uh, as I try to pull this up, yeah, it's just crazy that uh, they have some of this stuff here. Say the same thing. I'm trying to see how I can say. They're making all kinds of retarded money. There we go. Say see. the same thing. There you go. Uh, I'll show you all where to find. Yeah, man. And that's the thing, man. A lot of people don't see some of these shows or know some of this stuff. And you don't have to necessarily see this show to know. But a lot of people still watch the news, believe everything it's saying. So it say right here, Sinclair Broadcast Group. They own Sinclair Broadcast Group owns damn near majority of the local news and across the country and so they'll have messages put in see is mostly known for hard hitting informing us you'll have them all say the same thing anyway 
people will be like able to. They say gold, basically. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, wait, he talk about the dollar stores. He broke that down, man. Good about the dollar stores and how they just is just there to just suck the money and stuff out of bad commu- poor communities and they don't give a shit. They'll make one person work there. They got one person work there. They'd be like, let me talk to the manager. You talking to her. Well, who had the register? That's me too. Who supposed to be stocking it? That's me too. They had people that was customers helping them stock the groceries like, man, Somebody was like, hey, excuse me, can I find where the uh, the cereal? I don't work here. He was... <laughs> and he was... <laughs> right. They felt bad for the woman that was there. They over there helping to work for free. They stocking up the store. They doing everything for her for free. Oh, my God, man. That was hilarious, man. Hilarious. Man, needing some oh, money bad. Yeah, yeah, you ain't lying. Let me move this thing over here. And then um, Dollar General and them buy out Dollar Tree. Uh, I'm not sure. I will, I know that they both are the two biggest though. Let me ask you this. Now we know Fifty Cent. He been a troll his whole his whole time, his whole life. We known him. He came out trolling Ja Rule, and I gotta give it to Fifty. He ain't never stopped, man. Fifty don't play, man. And he coming for you. He coming for you. I don't know if you noticed, but he been coming for Puff, big time. And uh, he, what you think about this right here? About him coming for Puff right here? I thought this was kind of funny. Here we go. I know you killed Tupac. That boy's going down and sue your head. Yes, Puffy. New Jack City. You know the routine. Murderer, Puffy. I know you killed Tupac. That boy's going down and sue your head. Yes, Yes, sir, Puffy. Come on, bitch. You know the routine. Ah. <laughs> uh, huh? Did you get response back for that? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, Puffy is a damn fool, man. You right, he do be cutting the hard. He don't no ball and no football. Yeah, I know, right? All right, let me. They say. White boys can't dance. I don't know. But I do know I used to love to break dance. Look at this right here. These boys. And this is one thing that's missing in schools and stuff today is they don't have the talent shows and stuff like they used to. Here we go. Let's see. Heck yeah. I'm going to mute this just in case of the music copyright. But here it go right here. They got their little break dancing. <laughs> Let's see what they got. This last dude right here is going to kill it. Yeah, this dude, he old. In a sweater? Yeah, in the orange. He, de- he deformed or something. That's <laughs> real bad. Look at him. Frankenstein in this piece. Look. Oh. What the fuck? Uh, oh. Uh, look at him. What? Look at that. Ah. Oh. Uh, what is that? Ah. Uh, hey. This dude just move his body in just some weird ways. Uh, he just turned his shoulders around. Shoulder link. What is this? Look at him. Look at his knees. Look at the knee. Look at that. He did a twist and landed on that knock knee there. Uh, moonwalk shoulder. 
<laughs> yeah, he shut them down. <laughs> hey. Yeah, that was even possible. They always say you gotta be loose to really do the do the killing out there, all right? You just real loose out there, bro. That's them slim thuggers out there. Slim thuggers. <laughs> uh, I see that color of how he even started it up. I wasn't expecting him to really do uh mm-hmm. B said, I got you, man. So you 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 got your eyes all on the you yeah, he like. <laughs> that's how, that's why I say sit back, man. <laughs> he like, what is he? What is what is he? What is he? Where you at? You you in there? You in there? Hello? <laughs> you home? You inside the TV? Come out. <laughs> okay, you good? No, nah, she say fifty been clowning puff. Since Puff made Supreme clothing and refused to properly credit him for songs he wrote, Puff tried to get 50 to sign to him to hustle him. Ah, 50 was smart because everybody that signed to Puff ain't do nothing after one record other than Big, but he was about he died, so <laughs> he didn't even get to see that second record even alive, actually. Technically, he died before it came out. So ain't nobody had two hit records with Puff. Damn, think about it. Who had two hit records with Puff? Somebody in the audience, please correct me. <laughs> and if they had two, they damn sure didn't have three. He probably was a little before your time, man. You you still young, man. I, I like a lot of the older. I like Too Short, uh, Mystic, Mystical, uh, Mystical. They quite a bit. They because they got a meeting in their music. Yeah. yeah. Or they, you know, they can have. Well, they we used to have to have what's called lyrics. You know what I mean? You actually needed lyrics. We used to make music back in the day. A song is about a story or something. You got to tell some kind of story, not just repeat the same hook. Like your boy, he was cool, but you know the Funyuns. <laughs> what what about him? What make you like him? Why you like him? You could have been telling the story of why you like him in between. There you go. When I had no money, I had only Funyuns. Now I got the money and the Funyuns. <laughs> I got it all. I mean. Mama, I made it. <laughs> That's why we was at the comedy club the other day with the old school player. And he had the, the craziest rap. He like, yeah, I been that over on that day. I took it in there and I put it in the belly. Next thing you know, I had a feeling like jelly. I took it out, put it in her face. Next thing you know, I sprayed it like mace. Oh yeah. I'm old school, what do you say, player from the Himalaya. I'm the poet, and don't you know it. Let me hit it from the back to that back going crack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, hey, but he was better than the younger dudes because he had lyrics. The story was hilarious. It was funny. The only problem was he was too old to get a record deal. He need to be a ghostwriter. <laughs> The young boys need to hire him and they talk about, yeah, I hit it from the back and I made the knees crack. Yeah. They're gonna be like, he what they young boys hitting old women. He gonna be they gonna be like, he hitting old women. <laughs> he just Hopefully, I ain't got to be around too long. Oh. <laughs> when it's going downhill, I don't want to be around for that shit. Yeah. My girl B. Alette said, Danity Kane had 
she said a W gold records and made pennies. I don't know if she mean two gold records, but they made pennies. And gold records is two hundred and fifty thousand units sold. So yeah, they give her an award for that, but that's really low. But hey, if they had two gold records, I ain't hating on them. I don't have no gold records. I mean, I never tried to put out a record, but hey, I ain't hating on nobody uh success. But they made pennies. That sound like Puff. I don't know of any artist that got rich after being signed with Puff. Uh, I don't know nobody that never looked back. Damian Kenny, 112 had two records before leaving. So did Faith and Carl Thomas. Yeah. Everybody had to get the hell out of there, man. Faith is probably his biggest success other than Biggie and Craig Mack and all that stuff that stuck around. And Faith, oh, man. So, you know, be meant to. Look like we got technical difficulties with my man, Atia. When he come back, I'll bring him back up. It's about time to wrap it up anyway. I had technical difficulty, and uh, I only had it streaming on Facebook for the first 10 minutes. I was wondering what was going on. I got distracted before I went on earlier. Mm. But, you know, you still made it work. I got this other little video I'm going to play right quick about this person. Uh, fingers. And here we go. My man is back. What would you feel like if this dude said, shut up for I smack you? Let me show you. He said, I'll smack you. <laughs> With this big ass ding ding finger. I got a finger bigger than your ding ding. Don't make me smack oh, you with that. Yeah. Don't make me smack you with that. Oh. Oh my God. Why are you walking around like that? He said, girl, don't make me stick this. Don't make me stick this up where you that. <laughs> I can finger you better than any man can make love to you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can finger you better than any man ever could, baby. What's the problem now? What's up, Tina? <laughs> hey, ladies. Y'all said y'all like the big one. <laughs> let, let me... keep it away. You don't show that. Man, if that dude's like, hey, man, didn't I tell you? Don't make me tell you again, boy. Fuck! <laughs> Whoa. If that was happening to me, I would have got it cut off, maybe. <laughs> if they couldn't fix it, if they couldn't fix it or something, I don't know. <laughs> B said that's Photoshop. You think so? I don't think so. Damn, if it is, it's good, good work. It says in the caption that this person has giantism. Local giantism occurs when a specific body part grows larger than usual, often due to excessive growth of anatomical structures or abnormal substance accumulation. In fingers and toes, this phenomenon is commonly known as macrodactyl. Okay, otherwise known as a lady's best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you ain't gonna give him a shake. You gonna discriminate? You discriminate, big finger, big finger ninjas. <laughs> I just thought about that. How you, you yeah, I know, right? Me? That fingertip was nasty. That, it said local giantism. Now, my girl B, she she's uh very in tune to the nursing field, so she would know. So maybe she'll check it out. But it said local giantism. I never heard of that as well. I know about the giantism. Is she says it's extra large height, head, and extremities. So. Maybe it's normally would probably be the legs or the whole arm, maybe instead of the fingertips, but I don't know. That's a big yeah, ass finger, though. 
Yeah, we I had that plan quite a while. <laughs> Time to turn it off. All right. Well, look like we about to be up out of here. But before we go, one last thing I'll say uh, that that sounds like a great opportunity. It says that 50 Cent secured a deal to open the G-Unit film and TV studio in Louisiana. So I guess he the new Tyler Perry. He about to open up a film studio in Louisiana, and they're going to start making movies and projects there. Damn, that's what's up. What do you think about that and how more people with money like him are starting to do something like create studios instead of relying on the traditional places to give me a shot? It's a kid. It's where his heart lies, really, because I like it. Cause you gotta give back. We don't have enough people giving back and actually giving their kind of knowledge to us to help us to actually prosper what we need to do. Um, so I like it. Cause that's why I started the mighty stuff. I, I like that kind of stuff. Uh, however, if it's just a m- money move for them, you know, mm, it could be it's both. Money move for Fifty, we all got. That's he, called he good business. Money. If you can give back and make money, where win. Well, see, if it's a passion of yours, then you, yeah, but you, you take, uh, you, you take more pride into it, then. Because you actually, you know, you got a passion for it. I just, I guess, because I, I don't like the people who just does stuff just because it's good and people don't look at it differently. Yeah. But I guess you're right. It's still doing a good, good deed and everything. So I think more opportunity. I know I like acting, so I think I'm going to be heading, trying to get into it, too, looking more into it. And see any ways that I can. Uh, I'm probably gonna try to promote that out too. I've had I haven't seen that. Okay. I like it. more opportunities. We need more opportunities out here. Yeah, definitely. And uh, for my little bit of knowledge and experience, uh, Fifty Cent does provide a lot of opportunities and stuff to people of color and other people uh, from diversity, diverse backgrounds on his projects. So. You know, from people working behind the scenes from makeup to all that stuff, they really do, like, give good opportunities and stuff. So I think that it would be pretty good, uh, you know, uh, they would have that there. I'm pretty sure that they would give a lot of good jobs to people out in that area. So a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, yeah, definitely. Damien Kenny say 50 getting tax breaks from businesses. Huh? He's been doing his thing, giving back a lot, man. I need to catch up on his journey. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, B said, shake my head. Some local politicians are trying to do that here in Houston. Houston has the space for it. Film production boosts the local economy. Yeah, it does. I mean, I'm surprised more places across the country don't do it because it's, it's a lot of great places to film across the country that they should all be given tax breaks and having those projects come because there's a lot of film projects um, out there. And a lot of that stuff, you know, is filmed. Well, for one, L.A. does have the infrastructure is because you need a lot of different people from artists to makeup to clothing. to all. It's just so much to go into some of this stuff that you go to some places. They don't have all that there on that level, you know. Top notch, yeah, but uh, but uh, a lot of big cities. The Houston, Houston, I think is the fourth biggest city in uh, United States population, and uh, so yeah, Houston is the fourth, so uh, behind Chicago. So yeah, these places could easily support that stuff, and then in you in Texas, all that desert movies and scenes and burying people in the desert and stuff, and yeah, they could have all kind of stuff there. So. Yeah. Sabrina Bonsu, what's up, sis? How you doing? Damien Kenny, only some states offer business tax exemptions. Yeah, I know. That's why Illinois, Chicago gets a lot of work. Atlanta gets a lot of work. Uh, California and New York, but California don't give as much as they used to. But they got so much infrastructure that they can't help it now. Anyway, man, we about to wrap this up, man. But I appreciate you coming, man. This was good. Hope you had a good time talking about a couple of these topics, you know. 
first time on the hoping, show. I'm hoping I can uh, come back, chat it up some more, um, look over some more videos and have it. Man, because looking at them, it's a good time. It was a lot of good times. And in the question, yeah, it was a good time. Thank y'all for having me. And uh, you do this every, uh, how often do you do your podcast? How, how do I? Well, I do this on Sundays, talk about like some of the topics of the week and sometimes on Wednesdays. And then I talk about like the TV shows and different stuff on different days and stuff. So, you know. So you just do it like every day then? Not every day. Probably about three to four days, maybe three days a week right now. Three to four, maybe at the most. So. Well, it's a lot of fun. I appreciate it. It's not too many people out here doing stuff like this, and it's oh, okay. just uh, I would want it to have again. All right. Well, definitely, you are always welcome back, man. We we do it again. And uh, before we go, for those that wasn't here when we first, uh, you know, started, you can tell people a little bit about yourself again. Uh, there's there's some uh, Tia Rafford. He's uh, one of the local comics here in Indy that uh, you know uh, been getting to know, and uh, I let him tell tell you all a little bit about himself before we go. Before you short because we about to go. So I'm gonna keep it real short. Uh, a little about myself. Like you said, I'm a local comic, so I I model out act. I do comedy. Um, I got and I actually own a production company now, too, and a nonprofit that we're focused on around giving back and becoming a second home, home for the youth. So what I'm doing, so I'm just trying to spread opportunity and show that we need to unite more. There's too much bad that's being highlighted, so let's come together and unite more. So I, since I do all that, um, I want y'all to add me on my social media to join the journey as well. And then we go... Um, Tell them, tell them your, tell them your uh, Instagram page. What's your Instagram page? The Instagram page, uh, Atia. I don't know if y'all can see my name on there, but Atia, A-T-I-Y-Y-A-H, and then just Radford. That's my Facebook tag there. So take off the R on the, uh, on the first name. A-T-I-Y-Y-A-H. For Instagram, take off the R, right? Yep. Yeah, the R is only there on the Facebook because it uh it got hacked. I got failed for one of those hackers. All right, so yeah. it, so if y'all, so I'm doing all that. Uh-huh. I was gonna say if y'all looking for my man, uh, to see what's up, you can pull him up on Instagram. Matter of fact, since you got this, you could have just put it like how I got Instagram under here on my name. That's what you should have did on there, but it's okay. What I'm gonna do is. I'll just go and pull up your Instagram for you and then people can see it. And that way they'll be able to uh, subscribe. They'll see, because also I see you have an underscore between your name and you left that out so people wouldn't have found you. So you got to put all that in there because people, they don't be knowing. They'll be lazy or don't know if they got the right one or not. So here you go. This is your page, right? Yes, sir. So y'all can check it out right here, Tia Rapper, and there you go. Follow my man, support. I didn't know I didn't have that on there. See, I followed you back. There you go. I don't be I don't be really paying attention to that a lot. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, but uh, you know. Here's uh the open mic that you uh that you putting together. You got that hat on. <laughs> Indiana Jones in it. That was a black expo uh, photo I took right there. Oh, and, uh, okay. the game was for the nonprofit we were for giving away toys and clothing to the Winter apartment complex family. Okay. So hopefully people can come in, volunteer, donate as needed. We got the page and everything locked in and Oh, and play it on my page as well. So just support where you can and tune in for a good time. You always got some food, huh? Okay. Ain't nothing wrong with that. I see you always got some food in there. Free spaghetti and garlic bread and that thing. Thanksgiving yeah. dinner the other day. You had some pizza the other time. Let me try to take care of everybody. Make them everybody feel welcome. I see. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Well, 
Y'all check them out. We'll be back next week if you're available. If not, you know, we still keep it moving. But everybody, I appreciate it for coming through, showing my man some love. Another comic okay. uh, on the scene. So you never know. May see him on Netflix or HBO one day. Hey, we working on it. Hey, we just got a movie out on Prime and Amazon Plus where I'm an extra on it. Uh, it's called For- Forgot About Us. Um, D.D. Austin, um, she's a local superstar and now she's uh, meeting me. So I was like, it- it's coming, it's coming. So just stay tuned. Naptown got a lot of good stuff coming out of it. All right. They go one of your local Naptown people. I, everybody know where I'm from. I'm from Chicago, so I ain't a local person here. So, but you know, I still show love. Ain't nothing wrong with that. So, hey, we're gonna all make it work. We about to get out of here. Hold on a second. Don't 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 have a hang up just yet. Everybody else, y'all about to hang up. Deuces.